scene, man. Hooey. <laughs> they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, kiddo. It's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, let's let me show you the ropes. Wait a second. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and train life stories, okay? Tell that I got about this much time. You wait around. I kind of don't want to do the tutorial, but if you do the tutorial, you get the pick. <sighs> Youngsters these days. Damn it. Well, your funeral, kiddo. Pull this off, come downtown to the last round, and I'll tell you how jacked this whole situation is. Until then, <laughs> good luck. Or maybe I should just say, uh, nice knowing you, kiddo. <laughs> Alright. I honestly, I hate the tutorial, so. Sorry. Hello, LA. You're up way past your, your bedtime, bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something, something comfortable. comfortable. I, I know I have. have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to the Dead of Night. Let's uh, collect some stuff here. There's a watch on the floor. I just got that. And uh, lucky caller, you've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So who do I have take, the pleasure take, of speaking take, 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 take. to? Hi, Deb. This is uh, Vigo. Vigo. So. Vigo, why are you up so late? Okay, um, take some moolah. Uh -huh. How many hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. I used to do a little myself. What brand do you have? At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood, our curse. I liked this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss. Hello, caller. Sorry, I just like reading it that way. Caller number three, what's keeping you? All right. A reminder. Mercurio will contact you. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. LaCroix. Dang, it's big, you know. From Hung Lo. Penis enlargement. Watch the girls come running. Call today, 1-800-555-STICK. Look for that lazy-ass ex-husband who's late on his alimony payments. How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further with Arthur Kilpatrick. Amazing crime pewter. You can find almost anyone with a record, and these days, that's just about everyone. Come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If you've got the dead beat, we've got the technology to find them. Boom. Oh, hit the wrong button. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you... I can't do Mercurio's accent, sorry. Um, we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now, some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street and number 4. Walk to the end of the alley and my building is in the, is in the, the next one in the way. <laughs> I can't talk today. The opening well, of Friends. The game begins. So it's a pawn. It's so don't go anywhere. I'm just getting warmed up. Okay. Should I say? So we've Pretty read all that good stuff. Random people to a taste test I could turn the TV on, but um, I won't. Let's listen for which one they When you're tired through feelings. Okay. Sorry. Oh my gosh. And of course I can't lockpick because I need a lockpick. So we can actually look at this to get a a quest started here. This one is open. So there's anything in here that I can snag. Yeah, there ain't nothing in here. Empty ass place. Alright. And then this is my mailbox. I don't have anything in it right now. And you got some change, lady? Hey, hey, lady. You got some change, lady? 
That's very nice. Thank you. I didn't hate I didn't gain a humanity for that. Are you serious? It's gonna drain fast. It's better than nothing. She's gotta walk so sexily while a car alarm is going off. Oh, so lovely. Yo, name's Mercurio. Persuasion is. It's probably not good. What are you doing? Nothing. No, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old army buddy. He, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Oh. Could I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, maybe you're looking for a little company? I'm happily married to my work. And I have a wife, too. Whatever, I'm out of here. I got nothing. Ah, you bish! Um... Okay, let's get this quest started. I probably won't start it until I can build up some, get some stuff, you know? Yo. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying, I'm dying eh? here. Oh. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm, oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me, what happened? I got, I went, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit, my rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Cut the crap and tell me who did this or I'll finish the job. All right, all right, jeez. You think you were the one laying here with his guts hanging out? It was that freaking chemist. Guy mixes up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks, hit me with a bat. I've heard this over and over. <laughs> so many times. I got a freaking horse kick in it. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit. They got the money, they got the astrolite. Where are these bastards? A small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, alright. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <laughs> Those better not be some of my last words. Anything else? Gotta, gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. Um. How do I open my quest log again? L log, right? Okay. Okay. Fantastic. I'm gonna look around your house. There's probably nothing in here, though. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. Key card for his house. Can't get in those. Okay. So. So. Let me try 
something here. Go to the blood bank first. I don't, I don't think I have a lot of money to begin with right now. How much money do I have? I have like 99, right? Yeah, I've got 99 bucks to my name, so. Let's go. Oh, I had her start walking. We we don't have time to wait for this. We, do, we don't have time for that, no. Oh man, he looks like a psychopath. Oh my god, okay. You next up for the needle? Mm -hmm. Your, Your donation, donation could, could save, save a life, life you, you know. know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? You offer it? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. <laughs> Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? I don't know, man. If you have to ask. Show me what you got. I just want to see pricing right now. 99, so I get one pack of blood for all my fucking money. Okay. Okay. All right. And I can block pick that one day. God, I keep hitting that to run faster, but that's literally how she runs. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I have to lock pick that too. Uh, sorry, that was ugly. Wait your turn and you'll be seen. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that lady. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Oops. I thought he was there. Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? What's it to What's it to you? Hell yeah! Oh man, I knew it! I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh man, this is great! And I saw your teeth in there and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! <laughs> I'm a ghoul. I didn't know that kind of this stuff until yeah, a couple cat months ago. Well, this guy just Bottom. appeared and, well, all of a sudden, bam! Oh, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes. Blew my goddamn mind. You said you're a ghoul. What is that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, a human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're cool. Ooh, watch out. You seem to enjoy it. It's awesome! Man, after that first date, the vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Who was this nasty dude? Oh man! I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you, just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires, oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? So what are you doing around here? Now, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. All right. I'm going to try. I don't know why people want to be mean to Knox all the time. Like, I don't know. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Okay. Yeah, you can't go back there because then they'll come after you, so. I literally have no skills. This is so hard. Um, well, I could go to the bar, right? Where Jeanette is. 
This will be the episode where we meet everybody. Now, I introduce you to all of the Santa Monica people. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like, like fabric, fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? Frightening isn't the word I'd use. Exciting is more like it. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. Fire hoses. When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. Who are you? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Do you have a name? I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is Sorry. my club. I love reading the dialogue. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite sweet and soon, I promise. Soon can come soon enough. Goodbye.